Thailand is a country that is located in Asia, just southwest of China. The country extends down the Malaysian Peninsula in Southeast Asia. It's about 198,000 miles large, which is roughly the size of the state of California. The central region of the country includes fertile land along with Thailand's capital, which is called Bangkok. In the northeast third of the country, it contains a lot of flat land with smaller trees and shrubs on it. The northwest side of the country contains mountains and steep, which also have some fertile valleys. A steep is a sudden drop off of land, kind of like a cliff. Southern Thailand has many rainforests and coconut plantations, which also helps the country's economy. Thailand's overall climate is tropical, but it does have a little cooler climate in the northern part of the country. Also, the country has rainy seasons, generally from the months of June through October. Um, the history of Thailand it is pretty much the same as southern China because people migrated back and forth between the two countries because they're geographically pretty close to each other. In the 9th and 13th centuries, Thailand was part of the Khmer Empire, which covered a lot of Southeast Asia. The Thai overthrew this kingdom and formed a new one called the Sukhothai Kingdom, and this was roughly in 1238. In the 14th century, Buddhism was introduced to the country, and in 1438, the Sukhothai Kingdom was overcome by the Utaya Kingdom. In the mid-1500s, the Utaya Kingdom was overcome by the Burmese, and the power flowed back and forth between the Burmese and the Thai. And then in the mid-1700s, the Burmese regained control. In the 18th century, the Shakri dynasty was formed by Rama I, and then Bangkok was officially established as the capital in 1782. The Thai Kingdom was then known as Siam, and this worked until 1932. In 1932, the military leaders forced the government to become a constitutional monarchy. And then in 1939, the government changed the nation's name officially from Siam to Thailand. And this was done to help display the stronger sense of Thai identity for the people. During World War II, Thailand was occupied by Japan for a while, and then the Thai and Japanese became allies. After the war, the Thai became allies with the U.S., and then they became an important base for the U.S. to use for their military and intelligence activities in the region. From 1975 and on, Thailand has become home to Indo-Chinese refugees, and the present king is King Rama IX, and he's reigned since 1946. And the nation has struggled with several military coups, terrorist violence, drug trafficking, crime, and problems with neighboring countries. Thailand's king is seen as a symbol of national unity. In 1991, the coup led to lots of riots and violent military response, and then royal intervention happened. In the year 2000, King Rama IX, their present leader, became the nation's longest living ruler, which surpassed Rama I. And Thailand's military has been politically active and often overthrown civilian government to impose its will. When you visit Thailand, it's very common to see pictures and figures of senior Buddhist monks decorating building walls and rooms. You'll see Buddhist temples in many villages and monks meditating and receiving alms. You may also witness Buddhist monks blessing homes and businesses to appease spirits in and around the area. Incenses are lit and people make their prayers to Buddha images and shrines throughout Thailand. What does this all mean? This means the most prominent religion in Thailand is Buddhism. Buddhism is considered a philosophy more so than a religion and focuses on the way of life and reflecting throughout life. It is based on Buddha's teachings of being full of compassion, tolerant, and aiming to lift away suffering. According to the Kingdom of Thailand Culturegram, Buddhism and spouses of reverence for life based on a belief that all living things possess spirits. Buddha's teachings were meant to release people from the misery of life's cycle. It used to be that all boys were expected to study Buddhist principles and become Buddhist monks for three months. Although this practice is not strictly enforced today, large ceremonies are held for boys entering Buddhist training and special ceremonies and offerings are conducted in temples or homes as a reminder to the living to continue to honor the dead. Buddhism is fully encompassed by the Thai people. For example, before a baby is born, the parents may ask a monk to come up with a name. Most men at age 20 will ordain to become a monk 7 days to 3 months to show good return to his parents. 
At weddings, a monk will pray and give blessing. When moving into a new house, it's common on the moving date to bring the Buddha image into the house, giving good luck and comfort. According to Tourism Authority of Thailand, around 95% of Thai people practice Buddhism. Only 5% are Muslim, located near the Malaysian border in the southern provinces. You can also find Hinduism, Confucianism, Taoism, and Christianity in Thailand, but these religions are generally practiced by people living in Bangkok. Despite most of Thailand being Buddhist, the people practice religious tolerance and are very respectful of other beliefs. Religious tolerance is customary in Thailand as well as protected by Thailand's constitution. So if you ever want to learn more about Buddhism, you can speak to Thai people as they are very open towards discussing their Buddhist values with you. You can even practice the philosophies of Buddhism and meditate in Buddhist temples. Buddhist temples can be found in many villages as they are the heart of social and religious life. George Panyapal from Thailand explains, in every step of life, religion plays an important role. So no matter where you go or what you do, religion is surrounded you one way or another. Courting in Thailand is a much longer process than Western societies. And the courting usually occurs in stages. The first stage is called the friendly beginning. A couple of friends will go to a public place and spend time together, usually with another group of friends, or just a couple of buddies or girlfriends for each. While going through the friendly beginning, displays of affection are not too common, and public displays of affection are unheard of. The man is expected to be friendly, otherwise he will be called arrogant, therefore making him undesirable, both for the current girl he is courting and for many others. Kissing and holding hands does not happen at this point in the dating process. Next we have what is called the discreet Thailand dating. This is fairly similar to the friendly beginning in that couples will go out in public with a group of friends, but they are to be discreet about the relationship. They are more committed to each other at this point, however they are not ready to come out in public or to each other that they are interested. Thailand women never commit to a relationship fast, but instead they try to be pakapa, which means hard to get. This is because it is considered inappropriate to be easy to get or to be committed to someone after only a short period of time. Thai women never show their love or affection for their partner until they have had time to make him earn it and kind of test him in a way. They do this to make sure that their man is fully committed and willing to wait for them. Sometimes women will wait several years before accepting her admirer. At this point, they become makashinstan, or boyfriend and girlfriend. Once the couple has become official, they can choose when they wish to become public about the relationship. Once family and friends are informed, the man has to meet the parents of the woman. It is frowned upon to be pursuing relationships or to be in a relationship and formalize it without first informing the girl's parents. It is expected that every time a man stops by the woman's family, family's house, he brings them small gifts and other various kind of tchotchkes. If he has any confusions or questions about the family's traditions or customs, he is expected to ask one of the other siblings in the family, preferably an older sibling. Thai weddings are made up of mainly two parts, the legal side of things and of course the ceremonial side. The wedding ceremony is considered by a majority of the Thai people to be the wedding, even though the ceremonial wedding isn't considered marriage by the Thai government. The people consider it to be more than enough to count for marriage. When planning a marriage, it is very important to the bride to have a Buddhist wedding, for that has been tradition for many years in Thailand. While not all aspects of a traditional Buddhist wedding have survived the test of time, Many weddings contain various parts of the tradition. When married, a dowry is expected by the bride's family. But once the couple is married, the dowry is usually returned to them as a wedding gift, if the family is approving of the wedding completely. Most weddings are performed and take place in a home. The minimum age of employment is 15 years old in Thailand. Anyone under the age of 18 has to be informed by the labor inspector before being employed. Pregnant women and workers ages 18 and under aren't allowed to work between the hours of 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. overtime or on the holidays. An expecting mother is protected under the Labor Protection Act of 1998, so employers aren't allowed to terminate work for women just because of pregnancy. Women are granted 90 days of maternity leave, including holidays. 
Employers must pay the wages during the leave period for 45 days, and the Social Welfare Fund pays the other 45 days. According to the book, the 1993 U.S. Family and Medical Leave Act mandates up to 12 weeks of unpaid family leave in the United States. The Child Adoption Center of the Thai Department of Social Development and Welfare is the government agency in charge of overseeing all Thai adoptions. They are approved and supervised by the Child Adoption Board of Thailand. Adoption is very complicated and differs depending on the country of origin of the adoptive parents, the agency they're working with, and the age and needs of the child. Independent adoptions are legally possible but are difficult unless a family member speaks Thai or if the family is living in Thailand. Having serious health issues may interfere with an adoption, but to be able to adopt in Thailand, a person must be able to adopt in their home country. Both parents must be at least 25 years of age um, with no more than two divorces between both parents and there must be a 15-year age gap between the parent and the child. It is not possible to adopt more than one Thai child at a time. With adopting special needs children, only single women are allowed to petition to adopt them. Most children live in orphanages and a small amount live in foster care. If a child is abandoned, Thai officials make the effort to find the birth parents or the genetic family before allowing the child to be adopted. If the parents of an abandoned child has not signed a relinquish form to give up the child, the child would not be able to be put up for adoption. In the United States, adoptions may be public or private. Public adoptions take place through licensed agencies and private adoptions are arranged between the adoptive parents and the birth mother, um, usually through an attorney. In the year 2011, the movie Hangover Part 2 was released. And for those of you who don't know, the film took place in Bangkok. The film portrayed Thailand as having a lot of trannies, so they got the stereotype that Thailand has a lot of trannies, which is clearly a stereotype because that movie was just for pure entertainment. Another stereotype that Americans have towards Thais is that Thais don't read. An interesting fact is that in 2013, Bangkok was named the World Book Capital, so that's also a stereotype as well. Americans think Thais are lazy. This is untrue. Thais are actually very hardworking, but they do have a more laid-back type of attitude, which could be taken as lazy. A big stereotype that Americans think is that Thai women are all prostitutes. They think that this is the only way women can get money and survive there in Thailand. Not every woman in Thailand desires to become a prostitute, and most of them don't. Over the years, prostitution has actually gone down there in Thailand. The stereotypes that Thais have towards Americans are what most other countries see Americans as. They think that all Americans care about is money, Americans are fat pigs, and that Americans are ignorant to other countries and cultures. When it comes to stereotypes, there isn't a lot to be said about the U.S. and Thailand because the U.S. and Thailand have overall a pretty good relationship. In Thailand, there has been one major current event since May of 2014. Last May, the military took control of the country, which then led to the removal of the Prime Minister and nine cabinet ministers by the nation's constitutional court. Their government system was overthrown and is still not in control today. For the past year, the military has been in control and running their government. A more recent current event happened on February 10th, where the laws were created essentially allowing the military to have absolute power over Thailand. When the country first took control in May, violence broke out into the streets, causing deaths and injuries. This was a big ordeal in Thailand and still is today. Another current event is that Thailand's Song Crane Festival just finished. 
This festival takes place from the day after New Year's until April 15th. This year, a total of 1,450 homeowners left their homes in the hands of the police for them to watch over during the festival. This next current event involved two college students in Thailand. This past month, two college students have been sentenced to two and a half years in jail. This is because in a university play that was put on, they insulted the monarchy. There is a law against this and originally their prison time was supposed to be five years, but it was cut down to two and a half years. This next current event has to do with the elephants in Thailand. The elephants in Thailand have been causing a little safety issue with the way they are acting out. There was an incident not too long ago where an elephant charged at a car full of tourists to protect its family. Another incident occurred when an elephant smashed the bumper off of a car in one of Thailand's largest national parks. A source says there isn't much that can be done besides trying to keep everyone safe. In regards to current events involving the U.S. and Thailand, there wasn't very many. But on April 12th, at a local tourist destination in Thailand, a bomb exploded. This bomb killed eight people at the tourist destination. This has worried Thailand, and whether their tourist, tourist destination will not be as popular due to the tourists having a fear of their safety. Mm.